So it's snowing. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Probably. It's not sticking to the ground yet, but it's getting really cold and it wasn't this heavy earlier. Hey everyone, it is Monday. We just opened. It hasn't been too busy, which is kind of nice. Um, we actually got a package in from UPS today and it's got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I know Cooper's going to be pretty bummed that he didn't get to be here while, when it came in. But he knew about it, so I'm just going to show you guys what came in. It's really cool. This is what was in the package. We got a Mario Party 6. This one is not double-sided. Um, I think every single one of them is except for this one. And one of the other one standy. Mario Party 6. Pikmin 2. Um, I think the owner's cat chewed on them a little bit right here and right here. And then this guy is like broken i'm afraid to like glue him up in case we need to he needs to fold down so i'm guessing that's why that happened um star fox this one is one of the ones that hangs so it hangs on the ceiling and it twirls around still really cool um the coolest one i'm gonna save for last but here is mario party 5 this came with a standee, I just don't have it attached to it. Um, it also lights up, but the batteries are really hard to get in and out. And so I just haven't done that yet. Don't want to bother with it. And then we got A Link to the Past Four Swords, Game Boy Advance. Really cool. His sword's a little messed up. And then this, I believe this one is supposed to hang up as well, um, it's kind of strange. Here's like the top of it, but really cool nonetheless. What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. Um, bad news, I have a sore throat and it's not sore from screaming, it is sore from like a sickness sore, which really, really sucks. Um, so luckily we still have a few days before, you know, we leave for the tour. I'm gonna try to do whatever I can to, to relieve it and make it better. Um, <clears throat> it's not horrible. It doesn't hurt that bad, but I'm not sure that I could do vocals with it, and I'm not even going to try. It's not worth possibly making it worse somehow. So, um, you know, I, I kind of felt it a little bit in my throat last night um, after we left Chili's. And then when I woke up this morning, it was just, you know, full-blown sore throat. So I woke up this morning, I made some, some throat coat tea and put some honey in there. And I had that. And I also had one of my emergency things. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to have another one of those um, later on today. I was already drinking them. I was already doing one a day, but I, gotta, I guess I got to bump it up to two a day now to try and combat this. So see what happens but hopefully it'll go away and uh tyler and chris just went and took the trailer that we're taking on tour they took it down to this place to get like a light installed in it and just get everything checked and so i'm here at the house with mike and you know just hanging out tyler has this tyler has this nice freaking pool out here but it's a little too cold to go swimming um it's winter, of course, which isn't saying much when you're in Florida, but it is colder. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're just gonna, you know, hang out today and hopefully just take it easy. I don't know exactly what caused me to get this sore throat, but I, it's, it's gotta be like a combination of things because I have been taking the emergency stuff every day. I have been drinking tea, which I hate tea, but it's good for your throat, so I've been drinking it, and then I've also been taking, like, vitamin C, like, chewable vitamin things as well every day, so, like, you know, I feel like I've been doing enough, but being on two planes and then going to a show with 300 people, a bunch of which are, like, you know, giving me fist bumps and, like, shaking my hand and, and all this kind of stuff, you know, you can only do so much, so it's probably just a combination of all these things. 
going out to eat at different spots. You know, we've gone out like four, four times or so. So I don't know, it really sucks. And I'm really frustrated about it because and I, I'm, you know, I'm sure Tyler is frustrated about it too. Cause one of the things that he told me, like, you know, when I first got here is like, as a vocalist, you are the one that like out of anyone cannot get sick because if you're sick, you can still play guitar. If you're sick, you can't necessarily do vocals. So that's a really bad thing. And uh, he was the one who's telling me like, you know, you gotta take this emergency stuff every day and it'll help and all this. And I've done exactly what he told me to do. He's been on multiple tours as a vocalist and he has done what I've been doing and he's never gotten sick. Even when everyone else on the tour gets sick, he doesn't. So I figured that he would know what he's talking about and you know he does of course but I don't know something something uncontrollable happened and I just happened to to get a sore throat it really really sucks but you know I'm just gonna take it easy and hopefully it'll go away by the time you know we we leave um, I don't think that I'm going to get actually sick I think it's just gonna be the sore throat and usually when I do get a sore throat it'll only last for a few days so I'm really hoping that that's the case here, and then whatever got me sick, I'll get over, and then I'll be good for the rest of the tour. Luckily, it's a shorter tour, so, you know, nine shows, ten shows, whatever it is. So, we'll see what happens, but, like I said, I'm just going to take it easy and try and get over this thing. And, uh, I also wanted to apologize for the last couple of vlogs being pretty short, but there just really hasn't been much to film. Um, we haven't been doing too much here at the house, you know, just practicing a little bit, but... Most of the time I'm just like sitting on the computer, work, you know, working on the vlogs or working on other stuff for the band, just like editing together videos from the Deicide show and, you know, just doing stuff like that. And I've asked Abby to film as much as she can, but, you know, she can only really film whatever comes in. So hopefully she has some more clips for me today and this one's already over five minutes. So I think today's vlog just because of this is going to be longer, but I don't want to just make them long by rambling, so I'm gonna cut it off here, but thank you guys for all your support so far. Um, I know that these these tour vlogs and stuff and Florida vlogs are much different than normal, and I appreciate those of, those of you who are able to put up with it and still, still, still watch them and appreciate them. And uh, just understand that after the tour, I am going to be driving around Florida, going to pawn shops and thrift stores and game stores, and I'm going to be filming all of that. I'm going to be meeting up with a few people. It's going to be super awesome. And so I hope that you guys will enjoy that and look forward to that just like I am. Just got a pretty cool trade-in. Um, some good stuff in here that we needed. And uh, lots of loose cases. So that'll be nice to have so we can complete some more games. Christina's here with me keeping me company. Hi, Christina. Hello. <laughs> so for anyone who is interested... We have a YouTube channel for Monotheist, and we just uploaded this video here. It is a full song of our set where we opened up for Deicide last Friday. And there is the channel. Definitely go subscribe and check this video out if you're interested. It's a pretty good one. Cooking up this cheesy ham and potato bake. Got this from Walmart the other day. Hopefully it's good. We're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah. Place on a baking sheet. Cook for 55 to 65 minutes. So I hope you're hungry in an hour. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. Bit. Huh. All right. None of that's plastic, right? I mean, it says right on there to to just cut a slit in there, right? Huh? So it says, right? Move tray from outer carton and place on baking sheet. Yeah, that's what it says. That's weird, though. Like, I guess it's. <clears throat> we'll find out. <laughs> we may ruin a baking sheet. We'll find out.
No, that's... No, we don't want... That's like five days. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> and then... Well, we'll Timer. Just... You want 55 minutes? Yeah. So this bundle came from a gentleman who drove up here from Yam Hill. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate all the games you brought us. So we have Roger Rabbit, Battle Chess, California Games. A lot of these are just filler titles, but I, you know, I'm more than happy to have these because our shelves are getting a little bare. So we have Tetris, World Cup, Track and Field, or Track and Field 2. Sorry, I couldn't read that for a second. Faster's Quest, Super Mario 3, Blades of Steel, Friday the 13th, Top Gun, Taboo, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Silent Service, Joust. We also got these two in. Also a engine game that's upside down. And then some good Genesis games. Weapon Lord. That's a nice one to have. So is Mortal Kombat. And we have Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat. These two are complete in box. Got two Sony PlayStation 3 controllers. I We actually need these since like... We have our set controllers for the systems, but we still get people asking for these, and these are like actually pretty clean, and they're nice, so I definitely jumped on that and took those in. Resident Evil 2, and then we have Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now these are just loose cases, but I am so happy to have them because I know we can complete uh, New Super Mario Bros, and I believe we can complete Soul Silver. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we can also complete Mortal Kombat 3, as well as Final Fantasy Taxi Tactics. I can't talk today, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and then I also took this in. But yeah. Everything is going to be put in the inventory, tested, cleaned, and will probably be out on the floor here in a day or two. So like, when I was on tour with Septic Flesh and Dark Funeral, our, uh, we were playing in Wisconsin and their bus broke down. And so when we got to the venue, we were just told to stall. And the promoter said, play until we get there. So we played like two and a half hours. <laughs> we ran out of songs to play. We didn't know anymore. You should just replay them because no one's gonna be able to tell. <laughs> right? We did covers and only part of our band would play because we weren't sure yet, <laughs> like when they were gonna get there. So when they finally showed up, we were like, oh, thank God. <laughs> That's and awesome. just crawled off the stage. <laughs> so we are at Office Depot printing up laminates for the tour, and then also a bunch of flyers that we're gonna sign and put out the merch table. But I had to fake the holographicness of the the things because we're just getting printed normally. <laughs> but that's what they look like. Chris is cutting them. These are the flyers that we've cut the edges off of. And these are the ones that are cut. Back at Tyler's house now, we'll take a look at the things. These are the finished ones here. We bought the lanyards too. And then these are the tour flyers, which we're going to sign and then put those out at the merch table for like three bucks or something. And yeah, so pretty cool stuff. It was a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. What do you think? I'm super proud of them. I love the, the foil effect we have going on. <laughs> we, we had to fake the, the hologram on the sides there because <laughs> they, they, they can't print that there at Office Depot, but it came out really well. And we made enough for the other bands too, which nobody wanted to do. <laughs> Time to have some DiGiorno pizza and watch some Boogie.
It is one o'clock in the morning. It's actually 1.30. Um, however, some things to unbox and show you guys. Uh, Zelda's being very irritating, so she's hitting my hand that's holding the camera. Uh, let's jump into it. Here is the first box. The cats are kind of just surrounding me. Hi, Zelda. She's mad. Aria? in here, uh, but it looks like it's packed up pretty well and some red. Oh, no. oh, that's just a bag. Let's see. It's very hard to do this with one hand, as you guys can imagine. I don't know how Cooper does it. Okay, so this is a DVD Blu-ray drive. Uh, this is for one of our Customers, he is getting his PS3 fixed with us and his drive is failing, so Richard is replacing that for us. Um, I ordered this off of eBay so we can have the correct part. That is that. This is the next packaged uh, package. Obviously, we have Ocarina of Time, and we have Majora's Mask. Uh, we are all out of Ocarina of Time, so that's nice to get in. I'm down to my last Majora's Mask. So those are good to have. Here is the last bundle, guys. Uh, this one's actually really cool. Really pumped for this. Uh, so I'm just, I really want to go to bed. So let's dig in and try to get this done pretty quick. So first thing we have, stack up. And then we've got Mega Man 6. And we've got, oh my goodness, Mega Man 5. And we have Mega Man 2. Metal Gear. Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man 4. Simon's Quest. Snake's Revenge. Dracula's Curse. Castlevania. Mega Man 3. Chrono Trigger. Castlevania. Again. <laughs> And then we have Link to the Past, and then this is the really insane thing, and Cooper's so pumped for it. As you can see, it is sealed, and it is Holy Diver complete and sealed, and it's very cool. This is the collector's edition. We, This is one bundle that we purchased. Um, the guy just had it all lumped together. We are so pumped to have it. It's very cool. It comes with an 8-bit cartridge with exclusive hard embossed collector's box, full color instruction manual, and individually numbered certificate of authenticity. That's really cool. It's actually also compatible with NES Famicom. Uh, I'm like so bummed we can't open this, but totally understand. Um, it's completely black, pretty much. There's like a little thing. Uh, probably help if I zoom out, huh? Yeah, I mean, the box isn't anything special. I don't think it's just black with the... Oh, there. There you can see it. Pretty cool. Huh, Arya? Okay. <laughs> she looked the other way. So I am going to go to bed, guys. I am so tired. I am excited for my weekend. I'm excited to sleep in. I probably won't be vlogging too much these next two days just because I am going to be relaxing and just playing some video games. I might pop up in the vlog once or twice, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. I'm ready to go to bed. Have a great day.